Hey guys, in today's build order I'm bringing you something a little bit special actually, it's a bit, uh, a bit crazy. Uh, this one's been submitted by Florist, who is in my Discord channel. And it's actually a 15 minute, yes you heard that, 15 minute Imperial Age. <laughs> so, it's really quite crazy. So I must say, it is a build order that can only be done on the Fortress map. So if you're unfamiliar with Fortress, it's basically it's a bit like arena um, apart from you start off with um, some um, watchtowers you've got a castle you've got some farms down and you start off with 10 villages and obviously there's a barracks there as well it's only one I would recommend doing with the Portuguese which is demonstrated in this video uh, because you need the fate arrears uh, which will um, you know, you'll be focusing on building once you get to the Imperial Age. You probably could do it with other civilizations, but you would not have an economy, <laughs> basically, um, to do anything with getting to the Imperial Age. So it's kind of pointless in that respect. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing you do with your starting villages is you send uh, five to farms, two to berries and three to wood and you get a villager queued up. So your first villager to come out is going to go and uh, lure a Um, so these villagers are just collecting a little bit of food but they will be going on to bore. Like so, your next villagers come out and gone to bore as well. You can actually have another four villagers going on to the bore uh, but we will be luring the second bore during that period. So I think another two come out and then um, the next one after that will come and lure the ball, but uh, you're looking at an extra five in total. So you, technically your first six villages are all going to bore. Do, 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 do. And like I said, so this one's just going to come and do the, do the next bit of luring. And just got two more to come out onto the ball. It's actually quite a tricky build order, I mean, you can see how long the, um, the build order is at the side of the screen. Um, it's a little bit fiddly from what I can see, um, but it's certainly, uh, certainly a clever one. So the next uh, villagers to come out are going to go to berries, we're going to add um, three to berries. Yeah, it's... Uh, Certainly an interesting one. Like so, um, just one more to come to berries, I think. Hola. Okay, so your next four villages that come out are going to go to farms. So once uh, this boar's finished we're going to move eight of those uh, 11 villages uh, up to gold and three of those are going to go onto farms as well so we'll be adding another two farms to the five that's already built but for now send eight up to the gold we've got you three from the uh, from the boar on the farms there as well and we've just got another, another two after this one to come out uh, and make farms and then once that is done, we will be clicking up to the feudal age. So the benefits of this uh, build order is it just gives you the, um, you know, certainly once the fate of ears are up and running, um, it gives you, a, you know, quite a good advantage. You can quite easily um, get all your research done get a load of um, military buildings down and start pumping out an army um, whilst your enemy is going to be still in castle age really they'll be uh, concentrating on booming and uh, you'll be smashing out an army which is fantastic but uh, yeah it is a little bit of a crazy build a little bit of a crazy build I'm just going to speed it up a little bit so um, you may have noticed we've moved three villages from gold over to wood. 
and just so we can start getting some uh, wood in the bank. Um, once we do hit the feudal age, we're going to be creating three new villages, and they're going to go to gold. And we're also going to make a blacksmith and a market. So let's speed up again. So you should have enough wood to build a blacksmith straight away. Um, you might have to wait a little bit just to get the wood in for the market. But you'll just make a blacksmith from one of the villages from berries, and then you'll take three off wood, go to make the market, and then once they've done the market, they'll go over to the gold. So again, I'll speed it up. There's one more village to come out for the gold. Like so, and then you should be able to pretty much immediately uh, click up. Just gonna wait for a little bit of food to come in, so a little bit of idle time, nothing too major. Probably could have um, dropped the food off a little sooner, perhaps, but I don't think those seconds will really make much uh, of a difference when we're uh, going up to Imperial Age quite this quickly, um, anyway. But uh, in the minute, you'll have three on wood, five on berries, seven on farms, and 11 on gold so um, what you will be doing as you're sort of on the way up to the um, castle age you'll start um, buying a bit of um, bit of food here and there um, using your market and you just want to kind of balance your economy so that you've got um, a thousand food and 800 gold in time for when you uh, reach the castle age so that you can immediately click for the Imperial Age. So because you've got the castle to start off with, it, it just uh, enables you to, to do that, which is great. So once these farms will start running out, I mean as you can see there's not really a, a vast amount of food on these now, um, but once these farms start running out you'll be sending them over to stone, and once the barriers have done they'll all be going over to stone as well, so you'll have pretty much your whole economy on um, gold and uh, stone at this point but as you can see a little bit of market abuse has just pretty much balanced out the uh, the resources that we need so just a little bit more gold to come in and then we can click up so as you can see boom imperial age is on its way in under 12 minutes which is absolutely mental and as you can see those farm villages are starting to come down there as well and the berries have gone over there now it may struggle a little bit in terms of um, being able to get the mining camp down but um, as these farms are expiring the villages are just starting to make the way over to the stone obviously there's uh, you know, probably about 90 food spread across those two farms I think the player does delete the farms just and just sends them over to the stone anyway the mining camps on its way now because you are going to want this this room um, not necessarily to place the fate arrears but you'll probably just need the, the, the room for house space to be honest um, and you're not going to be doing any farming or anything it's all going to be coming in through the fate arrears so two of those farm villages are just going forward and they're just going to start making houses um, around the perimeter of the base So, if we just have a little look at village accounts, the red player's only got an extra five villages at this point. He's just got into the castle age. And you'll probably just see that he starts, uh, yeah, starts getting some town centers down, starts trying to get a boom going. But back at uh, Florist's uh, base, you can see the resources are coming up. So, um, Victorias generally cost 250 of each, I believe. Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure it's 250 gold, 250 uh, stone. Yep. So, as you can see, we've got enough uh, gold straight away to be able to uh, quickly smack down a Fateria. Uh, those two villages down here, they're just going to keep building houses. And. Um, as you can see, first Fatria is on its way using some gold villages. Um, you don't need to make any villages from town centre at this point, it's just a case of getting Fatria's down. Uh, so, 
if I speed the game up you could just see how the fader ears are coming in you can potentially um, start looking at getting your eco upgrades I think he may have got double the axe um, whilst that was happening but as you can see once the fator ears start coming down or fator ears um, you'll see how quickly the resources are going on I mean, the food's going up really quickly and the wood's going up at a reasonable uh, speed as well the only one really is gold where it's a little bit slower but uh, still not bad at all but your aim is to get six of these so it should be by about 20 minutes you'll end up with six fator ears and you can see the population um, difference between the two you've got 127 so far soon to be 147 and uh, against your opponents 55 so um, yeah massive difference it doesn't seem to really be producing the village oh no he is doing he's got a decent boom going I suppose from the three town centers but you can just see how much of a, a massive boost that is to the economy suddenly with you know we've got four down so far two more are on the way like so and from this point onwards it's just a case of start making your military buildings that you want to go for so uh, florist has opted for uh, the archer line archer range is coming up and uh, it's started to get the blacksmith upgrades as well so, and, you, and you can see just how good that economy is there now it's absolutely crazy absolutely crazy so if we have a look at the <laughs> food uh, you know resources count on the um, you know it's, it's just mantling compared to the red player I mean he's, he's quite low um, and yeah Florist is just smashing it now in terms of being able to just whack a load of military buildings down we've got you know siege workshop universities come in archery range and it's pretty much a case of you can quite easily just get all the upgrades. I mean, you can see them all coming in on this. Well, you might not be able to see the build orders in the way, but all the upgrades are coming in for archers. We've got Thumping Ring at the moment. We've got uh, the uh, Archer Armor Bog Kill Arrows just come in. And once the universe is up, we'll be seeing chemistry and probably after that, ballistics as well. So, um, really getting those fully upgraded archers are blessed. Uh, before getting a good mass of them together but um, I'm going to assume that the uh, yellow player is still nowhere near clicking up to the Imperial Age at this point looking at the resources and he's got 600 food uh, 400 gold so still quite a way off uh, really and in terms of population he's got 88 population against 146 for Florist as you can see he's just going a little bit crazy now we've got uh, our blister coming in now chemistry is still not coming yet speed it up but ballistics is on its way in there as well we've got the uh, imperial age upgrades from the blacksmith coming in for them as well we've got another castle coming up and the almost pretty much fully upgraded arbs are coming in as well and we've also got some bombard cannons on the way as well so um, certainly because of the um, yeah, just how quickly the food uh, resource goes up uh, it makes it quite easy to transition into sort of the uh, light calf uh, line as well so I can't remember if Portuguese get Hussard no they don't I didn't think they did so you could potentially add a light cav in as well but I think you know in terms of population space you may not have enough uh, space to be able to add them in but um, certainly a good combination here bombard cannons and uh, the arbless so um, bombard cannons with Portuguese is a unique tech where they are affected by ballistics so uh, they could be quite handy in a in a in a fight to say the least but yeah it's just pure chaos at this point there's not really much of an army from the red players got a few monks on the go and some um, skirmishes coming out but uh, in terms of military it's only got seven units 
and uh, the blue player is at 53 with a full population so uh, yeah quite an effective strategy to say the least quite an effective one and uh, it's pretty much just a case of snowballing your opponent really it could probably do with a few more um, uh, bombard cannons they are on the way just very very slowly but uh, yeah at this point it's just wreaking havoc you know, the fate areas are doing the job you're able to uh, get all the upgrades that you need at this point I mean, you don't really need to even get the uh, eco upgrades I suppose because you've not really got much of an eco uh, other than the fate areas so you can get a really good army together and that's pretty much it from this one it's just a case of snowballing the uh, opponent now uh, so if you do enjoy Age of Empires 2 content, you're looking to improve the game or learn build orders and start now by subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one guys. Cheers for watching.